All right, finally, let's take a look at the answer to number nine. So in number nine, it tells you that you're going to start with some wax. So first of all, wax is going to freeze or melt at 68 degrees and wax is going to boil or condense at 361. So we have to adjust our graph. It tells us that we start at, I believe, 31 degrees. Yep, 31 degrees, which is below the 68. And we have to heat it until we get to 125 degrees. Yep, 125 degrees. So we're gonna end somewhere up in here. So we have a three-step process, going up, going across, and going up. So we're going to approach this one a little differently because if you use the approach we did in the other videos, um, the math gets super weird. You'll have to solve some simultaneous equations if you do that, and you're probably not going to like that. So I'm going to try a different approach. We know our total energy is 222 kilojoules, uh, which is 222,000 joules. Um, and we know that our total energy has to go into three steps, heating us up, melting the wax and then heating up heating up the wax so we have three steps and at first like we just start plugging in some numbers we have our total energy the mass we don't know so i'm just going to call it m i can look up my constant for c and i know that i'm going from 31 to 68 degrees i know that i have to melt the wax so i look up my delta h of fusion and that's 215 still don't know my mass because that's what we're trying to find and then we have to heat up the wax, unknown mass, M, times our C for liquid wax, and I'm gonna go from 68 to 125. Doesn't look solvable, but if you keep going, uh, if you multiply, uh, let's see, this would be 37 times 1.77, you'll get 65.9 times M, which we don't know M, but that's okay. Uh, 215 times M is just 215 M, and if you multiply 2.3 times 125 minus 68, you'll get 131 M. Might not look solvable to you yet, but realize these are all like terms. Something times M, something times M, something times M. So we could combine our like terms and we get 411.6 M is equal to 220,000. And if you divide both sides by 411.6, you will wind up with 539 grams of wax that you could possibly melt.